what I like about it is that it, it, it is definitely, you know, work that you do it once yeah. and that's it. You've got the benefit. It's not like mowing the lawn. No, I mean that's where I'm trying to sort of get, sort of, ha you've got to, you've got to understand that you've got to have the trees growing and developing heartwood, yeah. and and we we're still trying to, there's no, there's virtually no research being done on that process, and it's actually quite a tough thing to research, and and it might sound a bit far fetched, but just a week or two back we were discussing this at the university, and and, and the wood science prof there has basically putting up an idea that, that you, he wants to develop an acoustic x-ray machine that we can bring out and you can just put it on the tree and, it, and, and just through the, very, the variation and the density of the sapwood to the heartwood you'll be able to get an analysis of that. Yep. So, because if you want, one of, one, one of the ideas that we've, you know, having to get our head around is, is, is there a a maturation of a tree a bit like you know like in a lot of animals they go through you know sort of childhood then adolescence where they they grow a lot but they're not they haven't bulked up you know what I mean so these trees here that's why cutting a few down will be interesting if they're only three and a half four years old how much heart do they have because maybe they've got to grow a lot of foliage form quite a big stem and then they fill out the stem at a later date, if that makes sense, with the extractives. Because that, that's the next issue, isn't it, Paul, that <coughs> heartwood doesn't necessarily mean durability. Does yeah, it? that's the other thing, yeah. And so, so, select, so the two critical traits that we need to select for are early heartwood development. So some trees, it's a bit like, you know, you get early developers, guys who are shaving at 12 or 13. So we, we, we're theorising that heartwood's the same. It's sort of one of those things that it definitely seems to be age-related. So the ones that are the early developers of heartwood and then the durability of that heartwood, uh, how good is that at, at that relatively young age? Mm -hmm. And um, so we've just taken some, some about 400 samples of Eucalyptus persistuana and, and we've... Um, had them in the, in the lab and they've measured the heartwood content in those those trees they're all reject trees so they're not it's more that we're looking at learning about this process and it was clearly evident that when they tested the durability of those that had heartwood that we got a huge range even at age four in, in, in terms age of four. yeah of durability yep. so the so the, the, the ultimate goal for us is to find a fast growing straight tree that's an early heartwood developer and that, that heartwood is high durability. But, I mean, the other thing though, I suppose, is do some of the other ones stay kept up. Just because you stack on heartwood a bit later, if you're doing a longer rotation, that's it. it and, may actually... Yeah. And, no, and, and that's what, is an un, no, one, no, no one's done a study on that. Yeah. Cause, so, so what Clemens, Clemens is the wood scientist who's pretty focused on this, we had quite a, a really good discussion as the two of us on, you know, is there, a, he's theorising that that not only, you know, you might get a tree and it's developed a bit of heartwood, but that heartwood's still not very durable, and, and is it capable of increasing the durability of what's formed heartwood? And, and he's saying it is because he believes that there's a potential for, by just simply diffusion, for them to increase the level of, of, of the extractors in the heartwood yeah. as the tree ages and go back to cells, which is kind of counter to what a lot of people, you know, certainly for me, but having this him say that, I was saying, you really think it could happen? He said, yeah, why not? Yeah. He said, the cells aren't, they might be dead in theory, but they have still the cell walls. Yeah. And so if they say they're making the extractors, they don't even know where they produce the extractors. So maybe if they're making them as a band on that, the heartwood, from, maybe it's being made in the stem, then, then it can track back. Yep. And I says, well, how do you know it's not coming up from the root system and actually if it's diffusing that they're pumping yeah. up from the root? And he goes, oh, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. So, yeah. but no one knows. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these ugly ones. Yeah, across the way.